Welcome back to the channel my friends and welcome back to my 1975 Toyota Corolla KE35 hardtop. In the last video, uh, it was a pretty quick video but yeah, it was important. I went through and sort of took a look at the car and everything that needed to be done. Basically everything wrong with my car. Uh, this is a Thailand import, so it was bought sight unseen, which is obviously massively risky. Uh, but it wasn't that bad, but I did identify some bits and pieces. So one of them is a pretty big oil leak. I don't know where that's coming from, so I've jacked up the car. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at that today. This will probably end up being quite a long video and across multiple days as a result of that. Uh, mainly because I kind of want to get that done and dusted uh, all in one go. Also, it is weeping from the diff, from the fill hole, basically. So I think that might just be the bolt, but I don't know. So it's probably gonna need to have its gear, well, the, the diff oil changed anyway. So I'm probably gonna do that and then get underneath the car today, take a look at where the hell this oil leak's coming from and basically just go from there. So it's already up in the air. Uh, you've seen me kind of do that. I've filmed that, so done that. It's a little bit skew if, but it's solid. I've done the shape test, it's, it's, it's good to go. So again, today's video is basically getting under the car and trying to deal with this oil leak. Uh, all in all though, I will say this, the car, when I got underneath it, it looked pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Uh, and I have already bought some rust converter and also some stripping drill bits to go through and strip what rust they did find in the boot, strip that away, get it all gone, because it's mainly just surface corrosion, get that all gone, convert it, and then paint over the top, probably just with some black, uh, like under seal type thing. So yeah, let's, um, let's get under the car. All right, well you join me. Underneath the car, just scooting on under here, trying to locate where this oil leak's coming from, which you can see on the floor there. So, well maybe that's not oil. What is that? Shall we have a look? It looked like oil before. Might not be, but it did look like oil. Like combined with some stuff, what is this? That's coolant. Huh. That is, Oh, okay. Oh, that's not good. So it's a coolant leak. Ha! Huh. It did look like oil. Sorry, guys. My bad. It might have both, actually, to be fair. Yeah, it's got both. So it's got a coolant and an oil leak. This might just be blown out. Might just be grease from there. Interesting. Okay. Well, that changes things ever so slightly. I thought we were finding an oil leak today. Sorry about that. Um, huh. That might be a bit more tricky, actually. But since we're down here, take a look at the underside of the car with me, just to see its condition. Because it's actually pretty damn good. If I can shine a light on it all and not do it like a total idiot. It's, um, yeah, I mean, all in all, it ain't bad, that's for sure. I'm gonna, you can't bloody see this, I'm shining a lot like an idiot. But it looks like it may have had floor pans at one point, but they've been done to a satisfactory degree. You can see there, it's all, uh, it is actually pretty good, genuinely. Oh, there's some, Fluid as well, where's that? There we go. So we've got some fluid there. I'm doing terrible with this camera thing, aren't I today? Uh, that's not such a big deal. It just looks like it's weeping out of there. Kind of, that's okay. Um, hmm. Again, down here. It's actually really good condition. I'm pretty happy with this. Overall. Like really, genuinely happy with this. This is better condition than my Datsun 510, that's for sure. So, yeah, this is this was good. This was a good purchase from a condition perspective because I don't want to restore this car. I'm not interested in that, obviously. Um, right, anyway, let's get to... Fuck, let's get to this coolant leak then. 
Okay, so kind of tracking it down, this is the bell housing, I guess, of the transmission, um, which I don't know what transmission this is, so if anyone knows how to identify Toyota transmissions, let me know. Um, but anyway, so it's coming up uh, from there, and then I've spotted it. It's going to be difficult to get my torch in there as well for you guys. Hold on. Uh, there you go, I think. So let's have a look here. So you can see there is a drip and it's coming down a little bit higher from there. I don't know if that's the head. That might actually be the head. So I might have spoken a bit too soon. That might be why it's running lumpy. Which if that is the case, I'm gonna be really pissed off, obviously. Um, so I need to go from the top now, just try and figure it out. So, yeah, God, it's coming down from there somewhere. You can see that on that bolt? So anyway, let's open the engine bay up, I guess, and try and find out where it's coming from. All right, so got the uh, engine bay open now. So let's take a look. Uh, there we go, right, so I am, um, I know it had its water pump replaced before it came over, but I am struggling to see, I can see a little bit of it just down in, I might need to go get my GoPro actually, but I can see a little bit down in there. Uh, success is actually not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was. Just knocking stuff over. Anyway, uh, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was, genuinely. So it's actually really, really simple. Uh, so I've been under the car for quite a while trying to figure this out, trying to find it. It's from here. It's literally this. It's all it is. It's just this here. This is just leaking. So it is, if I put my hand here, I put my hand up, you can see sort of residue. So it's leaking down from here and then getting under the car. That's it. Well, from what I can tell anyway, I'm pretty certain I'm right. So if I squeeze this, and then I put my hand there. Yeah, there you go. That's not such a big deal. That is okay. Don't think I've got any of these though. Um, and I'm not quite sure what this is. Is this like a reducer block or something? I've never seen this before. Or is it just the T in there? I don't know what that is. It looks, well, coolant temp sensor, actually, I think, is what that is. Because it's got electrics to it, so. I think that might be a temp sensor. Um, but it's basically this. It's this, this reducer pipe here. I don't think I've got any of them. I did have, oh, no, actually, I might do. Yeah, I might do, actually. I might have something that fits it. Um, this is for an SR20... Uh, SR20 DT, but something in here might fit it. I think, I hope. I don't know. Because it's a small fitting, and I think that they've put a big... big to small fitting on it, or they've, they've tried to put a big fitting and shrink it down on one side. So this is actually going to be an easier fix than I thought it was. Um, I think this might work. So, it's smaller than that, and looks to be about the right size for that there as well. All right, cool. Well, no, I'll set you up on a tripod and we'll have a look. All right, well, anyway, first things first, just to sort of measure it, I guess. I think I am right, I'm thinking that will work. So, we probably need that part in there first, because it is, it's just a bit too long for this end part, or maybe not. I think it might, I think, I think this end part might work. Or oh, this one. Yeah, okay, so we'll cut it off here. This is what we'll do. <sighs> okay. Get my uh, metal shears out. And uh, yeah, I was wor really worried about that actually, to be honest as I'm sure you would be too. Uh, but this is part of the fun of these cars, for me anyway. I don't want to be like, oh, you I really love a project, because I don't. I fucking hate project cars. But I do like to tinker. And uh, cool, right. And uh, yeah, tinkering is, it is genuinely part of the fun. 
at least in some degree. And lucky that I've still got some of these parts because this, this was for the pickup truck. Um, but that's having all black hoses now, so not really such a big deal. So I think that should actually work, looking at it. It's definitely a different diameter. I reckon it might even be a bit too long now. Uh, cool. Happy though. Nice to get that on. Is that too big? Oh, that's not good. Oh God. Okay. This is going to go everywhere. I've got a bucket underneath it, by the way. So should catch it all. Um, actually, I don't want it to go on the alternator, do I? Obviously. Uh, hmm. Not good. I'm gonna have to go get. I'm gonna go get another towel. So I've got this old drying towel. Well, it's new actually, but I don't like it. I think it scratches paint. It was a cheap one from Amazon. So. We will use that instead, well, as well as everything else. So get that down in there nicely. And we will... Is this even doing anything? I don't know if this is even doing anything, to be honest. Don't worry, I'll move you guys in a minute. You'll be able to see a bit more. Um, yeah, they've definitely had problems with this. Uh, I've been down there and changed one of the lines as well. There was a vacuum hose at the top that was needing to be done. My God. Uh, what was that lefty loosey righty tighty in it? It might even be something as simplistic as the worm clamps that are just rotten and not really doing anything. Who knows? Who knows? But it definitely seems to be this is the culprit. Yeah, it's definitely this. <clears throat> I'll move you out of the sun a little bit. I uh, had a lot of weird feedback on my house, actually, in the last video. Lots of people were like, you've got a really nice house. Uh, thanks. Um, I like it. That's why I bought it, but I wouldn't say it's really nice. Definitely could be nicer. One of those things that houses are never really, I don't know, never really done, are they? But thanks. <laughs> it, it, was it was something I wasn't expecting. I was like, what? You like my house? This is weird. Okay, cool. Right. Uh... Let me trim that off as well, yeah. I tell you what, you know you've got a Japanese car when you've got cable ties on it. I don't even know what that's holding on, to be honest. Something. Not anymore. I just think it's because they've used the wrong size hose. I'm hoping, anyway. And it'll be an easy fix. <laughs> Oh God, I tell you what, that is on there. I'm glad it's not the block. Whew, put it that way. Or the head or whatever, I'd be pissed if it was coming out of the block. I did remove a bolt that looked, well, the bolt that I thought it was coming out of. Remove that. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, can't do this quickly. Okay, that's the majority of that done. <laughs> oh, you didn't even see that, did you? God, man alive. Cooling everywhere. <sighs> I will say this though, uh, at least it is a nice colour. Which I know sounds weird to say, but at least it is. Oh, it's fucking on there as well. I don't really understand why this has failed 
because looking at it, it looks okay. It looks like they put RTV around the top side. I think it is just the wrong side. Yeah, it is. It's just slightly, slightly too big. You can see it, look, say, it is just ever so slightly too big. Mine's like a few millimeters off, if you see. But, um, right. But you can see, look, they put RTV around there. Hopefully, there you go. Um, but yeah, look, I am doing good. We've got a thing underneath there. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try and get this off. All right, so uh, that, this, this just won't fit. This just will not fit at all, annoyingly. So I've put this back on, but I've swapped it around the other side and really, 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 really clamped down the worm clamps, moved them about a bit. I don't know if they were sitting right or not. So I've done all of that. Um, got it open now, I can top this up actually because I do have some deionized water. But I think what we'll do, because I've also swapped this, uh, this line out, this was split. And obviously this is going to the fuel rail, it's pulling vacuum. I, I, I don't know what this does. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what this does. But it was pulling vacuum for something and it was split so it was open. Um, now I've swapped that over, uh, so I'm going to start the car and hopefully we fixed it. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's just start the car and see what happens. Uh, and you know, hope for the best, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of the idea here. Uh, but at least that's one thing, like even if it does leak now, I know where it is and I can go buy something, uh, to fix it, right? I can change that over and fix it. So I'm not, I'm not actually too worried about that. Uh, now I know what it is. So before I was like, oh, oil leak, you know, terrible. Cause you know, oil leaks suck. Like I don't want an oil leak in my car. Uh, so let's see what we're working with here. Uh, it's God awful noise, that fuel pump. Want to start, does it? Let's put some. Yeah, it's not really liking it. It's not liking starting anymore. I don't know what's going on. I hate sitting in cars that are on jack stands. Battery's getting a bit dead now though. Lots of starts. This is doing what I did before. I think it's, the engine's getting flooded. I reckon timing's gone. I don't know why though. I don't know why timing would be out. I know these four AGs have a habit of, notorious habit actually, of, um, Slipping a tooth. I reckon that's timing. Because the engine keeps getting flooded. That's probably flooded the engine now, to be fair. Uh, but it was running fine, and now it's not. Maybe it slipped a tooth super quick, I don't know. I was hoping it was vacuum, um, but I don't think it is now, looking at it. I think that is, uh, yeah, an issue. Yeah, god damn it flooded again. I bet you that's flooded. I don't know why it keeps, uh, it must be timing. Anyway, fixed one thing and another thing's popped up. Not such a big deal because I can get that timed. That's not such an issue. Timing's really not a problem. Um, but I think that is timing. I'm probably gonna, well I mean, or it's over fueling. 
Maybe it's overfueling, but then it shouldn't. Because the injectors should only be able to do a certain amount per cycle. I'll switch off the fuel pump, tick it over. This is a way to clear up. Um, uh, oh no, I can't because I've got. I was going to say, you can turn off the uh, fuel pump and uh, tick it over, and then that will. Um, evaporate, clear up the cylinders, but can't really do that now because the, the spark plugs are in it. God, it's sweaty. Wow. It's hot and sweaty today. Um, yeah, I can't really tell if I fix that now. Hmm. That might have to be a, a fix for another day. It still does have an oil leak from somewhere, but I don't think that's anything actually to worry about really. So I think, God, I'm sweaty. Really, really sweaty. Gross. Ugh. My eyes burn as well. Ugh. Um, I think, phew, we're gonna have to call that a day. I don't know why it's running so bad. I was hoping it was the vacuum hose. Um, I've still got some more, so might have to go around and check. It just seems like it's flooded, but I don't know why. Don't know why it's continually getting flooded. Because the, the spark plugs look fine when I took them out. I think it's a, it must be a timing issue. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Um, yeah. Because I can't do the diff oil. Stand here. I can't do the diff oil unless I can get it warmed up properly. Because I won't be able to drain it properly. Um, but this is still progress because we fixed one thing which is just a basic leak. That's really not a problem actually at all. Uh, although I did lose that bolt. I don't know where that's gone. Uh, and that was holding a rail into the engine block. That's not really such a big deal. I can find another bolt and put that in there. So I think we'll call it a day today because uh, it's running like dog shit and I need to fix that. Uh, I don't know how yet. Thoughts down below. What do you guys think? But fix one thing, anyway. Um, and it's on jack stands now. And it's still not registered. It's not like I can drive it anywhere. And also looking underneath the car, ah, it filled me with so much, like much more confidence. I'm looking at that and I'm like, that's, that's brilliant. Because it is. The underside of this car is great. Very solid car. The boot, of course, is not good. But we'll fix that. That's really not a big deal at all. I don't care about that whatsoever. Um, so yeah, happy overall. Sweaty and gross, but happy. Anyway, thoughts down below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, cheers. Bye.